Lucknow, Awadh, Rajasthan, Chettinad, they all have one thing in common and that is biryani. Today we're going to learn how to make a super quick and easy aloo gobi matar ki biryani. Potatoes, cauliflower, paneer and green peas are cooked with spices and then layered between rice and baked to perfection. Let's look at the ingredients that we require. To begin with, I have two cups of rice that has been cooked till they are 90%. Now you could use regular rice or basmati rice, whatever you have on hand. Next, I have two to three potatoes that have been boiled, peeled and cubed. I have about two cups of cauliflower florets. I have about a cup of paneer that has been chopped into small cubes. About a cup of green peas. One cup onions, finely chopped. Two teaspoons ghee, one teaspoon jeera. One tablespoon each red chilli powder and garam masala. Green chilies, one teaspoon. One tablespoon each of ginger and garlic paste. One tablespoon of amchur powder. A pinch of turmeric and finally salt to taste. To begin with, we're going to heat our frying pan. I'm going to add about two to three teaspoons of oil and then about two to three spoons of ghee. I'm going to let this heat up just a tad bit. Next, go in the jeera. Now we'll wait for this to sputter. This will take about a minute. Next, go in a few green chilies and the onions. We're going to let the onions cook just until it turns golden. This should take about two to three minutes. Once we add the onions, next we're going to add the ginger garlic paste. And we're going to let this cook for about two to three minutes. Once the onions are a pale gold, we're going to add our paneer. Kashmiri red chilli powder, garam masala or biryani masala, whichever one you have at home, a pinch of turmeric and some salt. Just mix everything in and then we will add the vegetables. So we're going to start with the green peas, potatoes. and cauliflower. Just mix everything really well so that the masala coats the cauliflower and then lightly sprinkle some water. Mix it in. And now we're going to add some more salt. Place the lid and we're going to cook this until the cauliflower is tender. Our cauliflower has cooked just right. At this point, I'm going to turn this off. Now, a variation to this dish is you could add cream or yogurt at this point. I'm not adding either. I'm going to be adding some amchur powder to give it a slight hint of sour flavor. Make sure you add the amchur only after it has cooked. If you cook the amchur powder, what happens is it starts giving a bitter flavor. So just make sure everything is mixed through and next we're going to layer the rice and uh, make the biryani. So before I start the layering process, there is one thing I need to tell you. I took a little bit of the cooked rice and I put an infusion of saffron and milk. So what I did is took few strands of saffron, put it in warm milk and let its color release and then I added it to the rice and so you can see it has a beautiful yellow hue. So what we're going to do now is we're going to layer the rice. Start with a layer of just white rice. Sprinkle a little bit of the yellow rice. Just look how pretty this is. Next, we're going to put a layer of the vegetables. Just gently and evenly place it all the way through. Make sure pieces of potato and paneer 
are distributed evenly. Now you can choose how thick or thin you want this layer. I like to put a lot of stuffing because the children enjoy eating it. So it goes right in. Flatten it. And next I'm going to add the white rice again. Again, flatten it, add a little bit of the yellow rice. Now I'm going to put a plate on this or put a lid and then I'm going to microwave it for about 5 to 8 minutes on high power. If you want to do it in the oven, you could do it at 180 degrees for about 8 to 10 minutes. I just took this out of the microwave just before serving. Add some coriander leaves. Now you can add mint if you like the flavor. And then I'm going to add just a few green chilies. And you can serve this with your favorite raita. All you need to do is when you are serving your biryani, make sure you scoop all the way from the bottom so that you get a little bit of the vegetables and a little bit of the rice. Just look how delicious that is. The children are going to love this. I can't wait to dig into this myself either. I hope you try this soon and enjoy it as much as we do.